Good morning. Rainy morning. It's park run day though, so definitely good morning. We are at Fountains Abbey here in Ripon for their 10th birthday. So super excited about that. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, forgot to do shoelaces up. <laughs> that is an error. That's a proper schoolgirl error. So yeah, here for the 10th birthday, here to celebrate all things partnership Parkrun and the National Trust, what is better? It's made me realise actually that I need to visit more National Trust properties because there are so many cool parkruns at National Trust properties. Anyway, hopefully this rain will go away and we can enjoy Fountain Abbey's 10th birthday. Until I visited Bear Island, this was my absolute favourite parkrun in all of parkrun world, so I couldn't miss the birthday. We're here touring with Steve and I've never parked in this car park so the National Trust have opened up the Overflow car park so there's lots and lots of extra parking. They're expecting it to be very busy this morning. It's 8.30 now, they said please don't arrive. After 8.30 there's still cars pouring in. It's definitely going to be a busy one. The rain has just started falling properly as we are arriving. Welcome to Fountains Abbey and Studley Royal, a World Heritage Site, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Not many park runs at those. Toilets here on the right, cafe straight ahead. The gate here at the top does close around 10 minutes before park run starts, so you do need to arrive on time. Good morning. So this definitely isn't a park run you can arrive to, just a panic jog to the start. It's a decent, mm, what should we say? Five, ten minute walk, ten minute walk from the car park. And then, like I said, these gates just here do close to stop entry down to Fountains Abbey because at 10 o'clock, then it opens to the public and then you need to get your tickets to enter. So if you're not a National Trust member, well, firstly, why not join? Um, there are incredible locations such as this that you can explore, but if not and you really wanted to come and see a bit more then you could turn up early and do a bit of a warm-up down there by the abbey otherwise then we all need to be out at around 10 o'clock i think that did change last year when they did the park walk initiative was that last year now or the year before the year before last where is time going so yeah i think they extended it to around an hour and a half so no huge rush but definitely no sightseeing after park run you do need to come out even if you're a national trust member scan your card and then come back in walking down to the start past the awesome playground on our right and poppy and i are in hula skirts and our flower lays to celebrate the birthday we were like what fancy dress can we do didn't really know what birthday fancy dress is so yeah poppy do a twirl do me a twirl. Yay. Birthday vibes. <laughs> it's a fairly steep walk down. There is an access ramp here on the left and you get your first glimpses of the abbey over there on the left. I do believe there is access, um, disabled access, but you need to contact them and I'm not sure if that is available before 10 a.m. when they open. Maybe it is something to ask the team. Anyway, we'll bend round to the left and the path does get a little steep, so do allow time to get down here. Thank you. So two ways down, that's the way you'd normally go, but I think it must be very, very busy already. So we're approaching from the back. And there is one additional toilet, well, not just one toilet, <laughs> there's another to set of toilets down here. Poppy seems really cheerful. I'm so happy she's got another cold. I do not know what is happening with this year. Um, but she's woken up with parkrun excitement, so I'm really pleased we chose to come here for the birthday. We were going to head to Phillips Park in Manchester, but um, yeah, as soon as we saw it was the 10th birthday, we just couldn't stay away. We're just working our way through a collection of people so that we can go and pop our bag down over here. Oh, it's busy, but it's not quite as busy as I think I thought it was going to be. Oh, look, they've got balloons. Yeah. 
So there's a good place to leave bags just over here in the very busy area. Tails here having their photos. Oh, Poppy's been employed as photographer with the Abbey in the background. I will set off that direction. So everybody gathering over here. For the start, there's lots of paces today, so that's exciting to see. The course map here, two laps. We start with a smaller lap and then finish with a larger lap, which includes the water garden. It's a stunning route. Absolutely can't wait to run it, even on a rainy day. The tails head into the back. And I think we should probably get in position. Well done for being a photographer. <laughs> the run brief is just starting. We're just doing announcements, but it's very, very difficult to hear. I'd hoped to film the run brief and the announcements, but it's impossible. There's some nice quiet now and everybody's listening, but it's still very difficult to hear. There's just so many people here to celebrate. There's a very funny run through, running through the history of Park Run, starting with Adam Prentice and Paul Sinton Hewitt and the birth of Park Run here. But there was a little bit of swearing, so I'm not going to bring you that. <laughs> It was funny, it was very, very, very funny. And just like that, the timers have scampered to the front. <laughs> we have a run director. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> People are like, is that it? Are we going? Oh, we go. So we're going to let lots of people head off towards the Abbey and then we'll slot in because it's going to be a very, very very busy one this morning. And they keep pouring and pouring and pouring across the line. Fountain Abbey has got busy in the last few years. So we get towards walkers. Oh, and very excited dogs. And buggies. Oh, lots, lots of excited dogs. <laughs> All the way back to the tails. Starting at the back, you get a real feel for just how busy Fountain Dabby is these days. So Poppy set off a little bit before me. I'm not sure where she'll be. Hopefully we won't miss each other in our grass skirts. I think she's planning to mostly walk, but we'll see because when you set off with runners, sometimes you are carried along, aren't you? Hopefully we'll be reunited Ooh, as I dodge the puddles. One of my favourite views here at Fountains Abbey is just to turn back and watch everybody running towards you as you've got the Abbey sat there looking absolutely spectacular. I've only just remembered to start my Garmin. <laughs> We're not far into it, but the front runners well into their first lap, just across the other side there. As people start to pour around and Poppy must be thinking, where is my mum? But actually it did take a long, long time for everybody to cross that start line. I see a little grass skirt poking out. Pops, it took me ages to catch you. <laughs> well done, did you accidentally run? <laughs> no. You must be a super fast walker. <laughs> oh, so I've just, thank you so much. Just caught up, Pops. Oh my gosh, the view across this lake, let me show you. Runners heading around the lake. It's really atmospheric with all of this mist today and the rain is just about holding off. Usually at this point you have an amazing view of the Abbey. It's only just poking its head out of the mist there now. On the next lap this will be the start of our finish straight. Quite a long one, a little bit uphill. 
Poppy's not sure though. Her chest isn't feeling great. And actually, she did get a chest infection last time. She ran feeling like this, didn't you? So maybe stopping after a lap, the benefits of doing a two lap course or a lapped course. Um, so we'll see how you feel when you get there. Yeah. Yeah. I do love this view from the other side. So just stopping to enjoy it a moment. As we try and guess whether the front runners are gonna come in before we finish. Well, they're not gonna make it because the finish is here. So we're not going to get lapped today, Pops. We thought we might get to see the first few runners come in. But we finished our small lap. So Poppy's got some decision making between here and getting over to the far side of the Abbey. Thank you so much, Ron and Tiz. And, uh, and then she can decide whether to do another lap on her. Then one lap to go. And it'll be our turn to finish. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Fountains Abbey Park Run has got busy in recent years, as I was saying, but they have retained an amazing community spirit. There's over 70 volunteers here today, so that's just remarkable, isn't it? To get that many people here and on board and putting on this incredible event for its 10th birthday. As you head towards the scanners after you finish, then you get an amazing view of the Abbey. I've never actually stopped here while the event is going on, and looked at everybody running past, but it looks pretty special. It is amazing how much ground you lose when you just stop to take a photo or film something. Poppy's way ahead, so I'm now having to run to catch her up. Ooh, really hoping she'll decide to do another lap, but no pressure. Let's go and see what she decides. I think this will be my favorite bit of the park run. There's cowbells and lots and lots and lots of volunteers. I think it's rip and runners that are out in force. So Pops, coming up to decision time, what are you thinking? One more lap? Um, if we walk maybe. together? Maybe. Maybe more of a yes. Maybe more of a yes. Probably. Probably. Yes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's enjoy this little bit through here. <sighs> Thank you guys. It is the lovely rip and runners out in their club hats and things. It really does make a difference when there's like a run club takeover. I think all the paces might be ripping runners as well. So thanks to those guys. Listen to the noise they're making. Poppy, we've passed the point of no return. <laughs> She's doing it. <laughs> and it's, it never ends well. It never ends well, what, past the point of no return? It will, it'll end in a park run. It's gorgeous running past the Abbey. It's, it's a bit quieter on your second lap. I imagine that the front runners have come in now. What a view. I don't think I'll ever get tired of visiting here. And although I visited many more times as a National Trust member, then uh, it's my, only my 12th park run here today. So it will actually help me increase my P index as I look to increase it from 11 to 12. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I've done videos explaining what the P index is, but I'm trying to run at 12 different park runs 12 times each. So, oh, I can stop running now, I've caught you up. <laughs> so yeah, my 12th run at Fountains Abbey today. So super excited about that. Couldn't have picked a better day. Weather could be a bit better though, couldn't it, Pops? Can't feel my fingers. <laughs> Bobby said you want to skip park run, which is fine. It's quite hard work. <laughs> I was like, it is super fun. But it is quite hard work. <laughs> a lot harder than running. But I think it might be a lot more fun too. <laughs> We've got a park walker here in front of us. And we just spotted the tails. They'd just gone through the finish, but look at this finish line. It's busy over there on the finish line. As we head down here, oh, Poppy's still skipping. That's where we headed right on the first lap. So now heading straight to see the beautiful water garden. Thank you so much, volunteers. It's so nice that there's so many volunteers on all of the Marshall points. Oh, Poppy's stealing my little long cut. It's not a shortcut, but you get an amazing view of the water garden. So we always just take this little path here just to appreciate the view. Poppy, I love you in that skirt. <laughs> You can see the mist hanging over the trees there. There's the runners 
head on to the finish. Coming up to one of my other favourite parts of this course, the bridge. Thank you so much, guys. But what is the rain doing? <laughs> don't know if you can see it in the water, but the rain is falling heavily now. Marshalls with brollies, that's what they all need. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. The brolly is very wise. <laughs> and Poppy's coming over the bridge. Poppy, what's the rule on the bridge? No overtaking on the bridge. No overtaking on the bridge. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> we didn't overtake on the bridge. And after you cross the bridge, it sort of feels like you're heading for home, which we sort of need to do before my camera breaks and all this rain. What's going on? Park Run Weather Fairies. It's Fountains Abbey's 10th birthday. And we're in such summery outfits. Um, the lays kept falling behind us. So Poppy said we should put it under one arm. It's a good tip. Public service announcement. Shorts in the rain with a grass skirt. Not great. <laughs> Rubbing between my legs, it's not comfortable. So I have to keep separating it. Uh, not the best outfit. On a dry day, I love it. Wet day. I needed to be in leggings. <laughs> As we head here next to the water garden and the temples here, there is a slope here. Okay, just there. If you go up there, there is an amazing dark tunnel and uh, you can jump out on your kids and really make them jump. So give that a go if you've uh, not been to Fountains Abbey before. Don't just stay around the water garden. Head up there. I'm realising I have lots of favourite bits of Mountains Abbey. Oh look, you see Steve stopping to take photos. It is just stunningly beautiful here. And we were just saying, even though the weather is rubbish, it is just such a calm place to be. And it was busy today, but on this second lap, it's just peaceful. The rain is falling so heavily now. <laughs> Luckily the finish is just up over there. And the rain can't kill our spirit, but we are disappointed with these park run weather fairies. And we heard rumours of birthday cake, but will all the birthday cake have been gone by the time we get to the cafe? I don't know. Is there birthday cake? The National Trust cafes always have loads of cake anyway, don't they? So I'm sure there will be cake of some description after our park run. Hot chocolate, that's what I need. I can't feel my fingers. Because they've drained the lake. And there's lots of pheasants there, which is really making us laugh for some reason. Because it's a little bit like the pheasants think they're ducks. <laughs> and then the ducks are like up here going, guys, get out of our pond. Poppy and I were both saying how mesmerising we find the running water. We really just want to go and touch it and run our hands under it. But we're not going to run our hands under it because I already can't feel my hands. But we're so very nearly there. And the view on the finish straight here. Oh, the weather can't ruin this. Not in any way, shape or form. I can see some pink hives on the horizon. And I can hear some skippy footsteps next to me. <laughs> She's done it. I'm so proud of you, Pops. Now we just need a week where Poppy is actually feeling well. Like, come on 2024, March is the month. <laughs> Again, we're mesmerised, but the finish line is calling. So, just heading up the last little bit, tiny uphill, and we'll have finished Fountains Abbey. Fountains Abbey's park runs. That's a lot of S's. Why does that sound so wrong? Fountains Abbey's, Fountains Abbey Park Runs, 10th birthday. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got there in the end. Skipping into the finish. That is my girl. <laughs> Park Run happiness right there. <laughs> and some pretty cold looking volunteers. I'm skipping too, I'm skipping too. Yay, thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you, Biff and Runners. Oh, Come on, my hands. No Thank you so much. Whoa, 579. Yeah, my nice. goodness. Lovely, lovely cold scanners. So we have scanned so the important bit, returning our barcodes. And there's chocolates left. So Poppy's gone to get a post park run chocolate. <laughs> The last bits of scanning are going on over there as we wait for the tails to come in. And Fountains Abbey becomes calm and tranquil once again. Around 600 runners are all gone. Poppy and I are going to go and have our picture taken. We didn't because of all the madness at the start. We didn't really appreciate this, did we, Poppy? Fountains Abbey. Ten years old today. Steve has just very helpfully pointed out that Fountains Abbey is not 10 years old. It's in fact a lot older. <laughs> Fancy Abbey Park Run is 10 years old today. We've taken photos and just as we're leaving, I've just noticed this scale model of Fountain Abbey and I've never seen that, so I think that's really, really beautiful. I'm not sure how I haven't seen that in there before. Tails in. 10th birthday done, let's get to the cafe. Oh my goodness, the balloons are in the cafe and look at this. There's still cake left. We found a lovely corner of the cafe and we've got hot chocolate. Oh, it's so nice to have something warm. And, oh, I've totally just stuck my finger right in it. <laughs> we've got birthday cake. Happy birthday, Fountain Abbey. Can't believe there's cake left. Definitely going to enjoy this. As we head back to the overflow car park, the cake has been eaten, the hot chocolates have been drunk, and we have had an amazing morning here celebrating the 10th birthday at Fountains Abbey Park Run. We were actually here 10 years ago today to celebrate their inaugural run. I had to look at the results, made me a little bit emotional because Ben was here, which means Poppy would have been here as well. She would have been about four months old. So yeah, we were here as a, a little family for the inaugural run. So yeah, had a little emotional moment thinking about Benji. So it's been a wonderful event today. Absolutely loved it. Huge thanks to all the team. Rip and runners especially, showed out in force. So many volunteers, so much wonderful cheer. Such an amazing community here. That cake was incredible. It had over 50 eggs, five kilos of icing. What else? Six jars of jam. <laughs> like what a cake and it was delicious so yeah although to point out we didn't just come for the cake anyway hope you've enjoyed visiting one of the most beautiful park runs in the world with us unesco world heritage site wow just what a place to run whatever the weather luckily it's just about stopped raining now but um the weather couldn't dampen our spirits definitely not so happy birthday fountains abbey park run just a day to celebrate that partnership between Parkrun and the National Trust. It really is special and today's made me want to get round to all of the other National Trust park runs. Have I said I hope you enjoyed the video? Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I'm very tired today. <laughs> all of the usual things. Give the video a like if you have. Subscribe for more run, blah, 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 blah. Subscribe for more running adventures. <laughs> and I will see you on the next one. So next week we are meant to be heading to Yarborough, going to Yarborough for, it was meant to be a friend's 50th and she hasn't park run today. So going to, to Yarborough for a friend's 49th park run next week. That's the plan anyway, let's see. Week's a long time, who knows what will change between then. Maybe we will see you there. Take care guys, happy running. <laughs>